that new sports experience wasn't just for the 800 or so people that are going to drive an NSX every year. It's for all Acura customers, and it's for all of our dealers, and it's something that we need to incorporate into everything we do. So I'm going to share with you a little bit about how that how that comes into play in terms of our business, in terms of the brand, uh, and then uh, then we'll get you guys on the road as, as soon as we can. This slide is uh, a little bit of an eye chart, maybe. Um, what this really represents is is basically the the sort of trickle down or the trickle up of various technologies within Acura. Uh, in the area at the very bottom there, that's kind of the history of Acura. As you can see the old NSX, the, the original Legend, the Integra. Uh, the bottom half of the, of the upper triangle is, is our is our is our other models in our lineup today, and of course the top is the NSX. The key point that that, that we want to sort of get out of this is the positioning of the NSX and what it means for our brand. The original. Genesis of the Acura brand 30 years ago, uh, almost to the day, uh, with, with minus a couple weeks, um, had a lot to do with business reasons, but there were some very fundamental engineering dreams uh, that were also connected to that. Mr. Honda had vehicles that he wanted to make that exceeded sort of the limits and the bounds of what the Honda brand meant in the US. And so creating something like Acura allowed us to put some vehicles like that into the market. Even a vehicle like the NSX, which wasn't launched until 1990, was already conceived of before the launch of Acura in 1986. And so the idea is that that, that sort of uh, uh, dream for new technology, um, for what it says there in the middle of revolutionary power and control technologies, is fundamental to the brand. And that fundamental engineering is in all of our products, and the NSX is the halo of that. And so we see the NSX very much as the sort of sign of, or the indi indicator of everything that we can do when we're at our best, and also the indicator of what's to come. And so it works out really well that, that we're launching this vehicle right around our 30th anniversary because it really is the culmination of 30 years of effort and hopefully the signpost or the, or the sort of compass to the next 30 years of effort. So that's positioning in terms of within our brand. And we also want to talk a little bit about how we sort of see this vehicle in terms of the marketplace. Um, normally a chart like this would probably be a uh, simple kind of performance versus price type of axis. And, and in that kind of a continuum, there are some very literal competitors for this car. I mean, vehicles like the, the new R8 V10, the McLaren 570, very similar uh, price range, very similar performance specs. But we also think there's, there's something unique, something very special about this vehicle that, that actually you know, uh, kind of makes you think about some of the, the, the new vehicles that some people call hypercars, cars like the 918, the McLaren P1. Um, there's a next generation type of, of, of progressive technology approach. And we really think that that is NSX's X factor. In a very literal sense on the road, that's really behind some of that, that, that special feeling that you get on the racetrack. And just in terms of the excitement of new technology, new ideas, um, we think that there's something really special there. And we think that that gives the NSX a very unique place in the marketplace, offering that kind of ultimate technology, but at a price certainly very aspirational. I'm not able to buy one today, but I want to. And maybe at some point in the next few years, that time will come. And so we think that's really exciting and, and something new in the market. This is maybe a typical kind of product planning slide from, from, a, from a launch, we talk about content. But the couple of points uh, we want to make here. One is um, $156,000, so that's the starting price. And for that price, it is an Acura. You get uh, basically the, the main kind of normal features that anyone would expect uh, in an Acura, uh, you know, the LED headlights, the, the great audio system, and some other things. Um, with some exceptions, though. And, and, and one of the key things you'll see on the next couple of slides is we have made some very specific decisions to not include certain things for the sake of weight, for the sake of certain customers that want to have the lightest possible car, take it to the track every weekend, and, and drive it a certain way, and then make available a whole bunch of other uh, choices so that anybody can create their perfect NSX. And so um, we're going to go through some of the different available uh, feature packages, feature options that we have. Um, this isn't something new in the sports car arena, but it's actually something very new for us, the, the ability to create a bespoke car to order your NSX, wait for you know a couple months and have it delivered to your dealership is something very exciting for us. So I'm gonna go into some of those details uh, just so you get a chance to really understand what it is that we have available. Starting with our more performance oriented options, probably the most uh, kind of pronounced single option uh, of, of all of our options is the uh, carbon ceramic brake system. And we made a choice uh, early on to offer an iron brake system and obviously from a performance point of view, the, the, the carbon brakes uh, exceeded in a lot of ways. But there are a lot of people that are extreme kind of track rat, I hate to use that phrase, type of people who will go to the track all the time, who will expect to change rotors, and for whom an iron brake is actually a better choice in terms of, of the, the, the price of uh, replacement. But for most people, we think this option is going to be highly appealing. So 
not only offer amazing capability, but a 52 pound weight savings. Um, on the right hand side of the, on the, of the chart, a bunch of different carbon fiber options. Now the reality is that, that a lot of people will choose these for styling reasons, obviously the carbon fiber looks cool. Uh, but there is a, a lot of weight savings, or some weight savings with, with all of them, and it's about 15 pounds uh, if you go for all of the lightweight options. Uh, one of the uh, other things that hopefully some of you got a chance to experience this already, and maybe you get a chance to experience this on the drive, that we're really excited about is our technology package. Uh, $2,800 or $3,300 if you get um, Sirius XM with it. And it basically includes uh, an audio system, which I'll talk more about in just a second, navigation, uh, our next generation telematics, front and rear parking sensors. But the real heart of the system is our accurate ELS audio system. And it's pretty amazing. I mean, in a, in a cabin space that's as small as the NSX, uh, 580 watts, nine speakers, a 12 channel amp, uh, all of it delivering a really amazing audio performance uh, experience that, that is at least as good as, as, as anything that's out there. And doing so with a focus on things like lightweight, uh, all of the special constraints of a supercar, like noise and vibration and heat, uh, and delivering that uh, a really amazing experience uh, in this vehicle. So please try that out uh, in, if you're uh, on the drive later. Now moving on uh, to some exterior interior options. Obviously this is very much the, the type of customization, personalization that, that, that this customer uh, expects that they want. So the, uh, the standard wheel is also the lightest wheel. It's that, uh, it's that what we call the white spoke wheel up there on the, on the top uh, Top right of the of the left hand side. That's what uh, most of the cars were uh, the cars we're all driving today on the on the track with that wheel. That's the standard wheel. We offer an optional wheel uh, in three different finishes uh, for fifteen hundred bucks uh, that we call our interwoven uh, wheel. This is meant to be the wheel that very much connects with the styling theme of the car. Uh, bright caliper color options for seven hundred dollars. And uh, on the interior side, um, so the standard seat is the lightest possible seat. It's a it's a leather and Alcantara mix with a manual adjustment, just a regular four-way manual adjustment. The upgrades from there is a uh, combination of Alcantara and an upgraded leather, so a hand-selected semi-handling leather. Uh, that's a $1,500 option. And basically, all of these uh, seat packages come with power seats, uh, heated seats, and a seat memory system. And then our most expensive seat is a full semi-handling leather seat, and that's $2,500. It also comes with a power and everything. Uh, in terms of colors, uh, today the cars that you drove earlier uh, were Valencia Red Pearl, Nouvelle Blue Pearl, and I believe the Casino White Pearl. Um, so we've got three levels of, of colors on this vehicle. So there's three solid car colors that, that, that are uh, no upcharge. Uh, so that's the Curva Red, which is very much a traditional kind of uh, NSX red color. The 130R White, which is kind of a, uh, if I dare say, kind of a Type R type of uh, white color. And the Berlina Black, which is actually a, a, an NSX color from the previous NSX. Then we've got three upgrade options uh, where you get a, a special pearl or metallic paint. So there's a casino white pearl, source silver, and the Nord Gray, which is the car that we had at the dinner last night for you, those of you that are there. Uh, and the ones, the, the two colors that we're probably the most excited about are, are what we call our Andaro uh, paint. Uh, that's a, Andaro is a process, it's a PPG uh, paint process. And uh, it's an amazing technology where it uses special nano pigments that are actually in the clear coat of the car. And so basically as these, these cars uh, are painted, they go through multiple, multiple um, circles and, and, and processes through our, our paint booth at our factory. And each time it's kind of adding another layer of color or and ultimately this tinted finish. It's a very, very beautiful color and, and very exotic. Uh, uh, and we think something special in the industry. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, this idea of personalization uh, is, something, is something new for us. It's our first truly built to order system, uh, vehicle. So for the, for the customer, and, and there's been a lot of press uh, on our configurator. So for the customer, the real interface to this build to order process is our, is our online configurator, uh, which, which just launched uh, a few days ago. Uh, but behind that, there's actually a whole infrastructure that we created. So basically the idea is that the customer will go on uh, you know, their own little iPad or computer or whatever, configure their car, but behind the scenes, that, uh, that information is saved. Ultimately, that information will be transferred to the dealer. Uh, and ultimately, that, that same information will be transferred directly from the dealer to the factory. And so basically, the, the, the car that they create is preserved and ultimately turned into an order. And obviously, the idea is that we've got something that works for 16-year-old boys in their parents' basement, just playing around and dreaming, or the real customer that will actually buy this car, build it, and, and send it and have it, and have it show up in their own, their own driveway. So we're really excited about this, uh, and we think it's pretty state-of-the-art in terms of uh, the, the function.
And another thing, and, and, and I won't go into too much detail about this since, uh, since we're going to have some press activity at our, at our manufacturing facility uh, in, in the next few days, but uh, our performance manufacturing center is something that we are extremely uh, proud of. If you get a chance to visit it in Ohio, uh, literally, it is out the, uh, out the door of R&D and kind of drive for about, about five minutes. Uh, that also makes it uh, directly in between the factory that builds our Acura trucks, uh, East Liberty plant, the factory that builds our Acura cars, the Marysville Auto plant. And so what that means is it is at the epicenter of some of our best in the world R&D knowledge and manufacturing knowledge. And because of that, we were able to take the very best people from those different facilities, put them in this factory, and combine our knowledge about how to build hundreds of thousands of cars with amazing quality every year, and the very best of kind of crafted hand production. And so please visit this, this, this facility if you get a chance. Um, it is a very cool mixture of old world craftsmanship with the most high tech processes that we can come up with. It's, it's, it's really interesting. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the configurator, the actual ability to order and, and save vehicles uh, just a few days ago, and our deliveries will start uh, in the spring. And this idea of the kind of new experience is something that we uh, have tried to, to uh, have our dealers participate in. Uh, we really believe in the joy of selling uh, as a part of our fundamental kind of company philosophy. And so we wanted them to be part of it and not just sort of, you know, throw these, these cars into Acura dealerships and hope that they can make a, make a sale and make a connection with the rest of the product line. Uh, we were really happy to get uh, almost 100%, more than 95% of our dealers sign up. I mean, there's, you know, obviously exceptions, vehicles, or dealerships in very uh, small markets. Uh, but almost all of our, our, our dealers uh, signed up. Significant investment in their own infrastructure, in their own showroom. And the approach that we're taking is, is a sort of a specialist approach where every single dealer is required to have at least one NSX sales specialist and at least one NSX service specialist. Everybody will be trained on some of the information, there, but they will be a service person and a salesperson in every dealership who knows everything about the NSX, how to handle the customer, and how to handle the service of it. And we're actually uh, doing something new for us, which is a, a very special performance driving school. Uh, obviously, you can't really understand this car without, without the drive. Uh, so we're actually holding a special performance driving school that will take place at our R&D facility for these specialists uh, to learn how to, how to sell this car, how to, how to work on this car. And uh, as I mentioned before already, our, our annual sales plan um, for the U.S. is 800. Some flexibility in that as time goes on, but that is, that is where we're going to start and, uh, and go from there. So, I, I'll keep it short. Uh, I want to finish it with that. Um, but I put this on as our, as our last slide. Precision crafted performance. Um, obviously, it's something that you've heard from Acura in the past, and now you will hear from us again. I think we have really kind of come to a point where we completely understand who we are and where we're going. And this car uh, is Acura. The NSX is Acura, and Acura is NSX. And that brings us a lot of excitement, um, obviously even for the vehicles we have in our showroom today, and especially for me as a product planning guy, thinking about the vehicles we have in the future. So we hope that you've enjoyed it, um, and obviously...